Can I just tell you something that I have learned about myself having both sent my kids to online school as well as like in-person school? I am just not a Pinterest mom. You know the moms that make those like super cute lunches and like cut out things and put little notes in and like, I don't know, make it like a dragon out of, I don't know, cauliflower. Like I just, I, I'm not. Does a little part of me wish I was? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and so I decided this is my year. This year, I'm gonna be more organized. I'm going to try my best to make things a little bit more, you know, pizzazzy. And also find some really easy ways to cut down on single-use plastics as much as I possibly can. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff and we're gonna test it out today. And I'm also gonna let you know some of the products that I have used in the past that are phenomenal, that I highly recommend. So you know what? Let's dive into this. Do you have a coffee? I have a coffee. <laughs> cheers if you do. And also cheers if you don't, because you know what? We're getting into it. So the first thing I want to try, I just washed a whole bunch of them, are those reusable food pouches. And these can be used for baby food. They can be used for yogurts, for applesauce, anything that's like a squeezable, easy kind of grab and go thing. And with Luke going to school and in kindergarten, I thought this would be a super fun thing because he loves yogurt. And that way I figure I can just like buy the flavors he likes and then just refill a whole bunch of these, have them in the fridge and I'm like, good to go. And the ones that I bought, these are squishy, squishy, squishy. And they came in all these super adorable little animal shapes, which are, <laughs> I love them. Did I wash my favorite animals? Yes, I did. The walrus and the lion. Look how cute they are. And they're fairly large in size as well. Like my, <laughs> my hands are giant, but like they are fairly big. You can get a ton in here. And the way that you fill it is you open it from here and then you can pour it in from whatever container you're using. This is supposed to be a really good seal. It's supposed to close up really easily and not open. We're gonna test that obviously, obviously. Because if there's anyone who is going to test that to the fullness of its capabilities, it will be Luke. Mm, I wonder if I can squeeze this enough and make it explode. The only thing I can see that would be, make this process a little bit more difficult is just in the filling of this. So depending on what type of yogurt or applesauce or whatever you're using, it would be a lot easier to have like a, some sort of pouring mechanism. Again, it's not the end of the world, it's just something that I wanna note. And I know there are some companies that make these like refillable bags of yogurt. So I feel like that would be the way to go with these because you can just fill these up and that would make like no mess, no fuss. And I don't have those today. <laughs> I gotta fill it with something. What am I gonna fill it with? Guess today it's gonna be yogurt. And again, you can kind of see my conundrum here. And also depending on how thick of a yogurt you like, that is going to potentially make it difficult to drink from, I don't know. I mean, the opening seems wide enough and it's quite a, a stiff opening. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be like super painful <laughs> to do it this way. Cause I mean, if it is, I'm not going to do it. Or, uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna try and put it in here first and then scrape it in. Cause I think that's gonna be a lot easier. Again, this would be a much easier process if you have a very liquidy yogurt or liquidy product in general. I, of course, need to make this super difficult for myself. Ha <laughs> ha, it is working though. Oh, I might've filled it a little too much. I got a little too excited that I could fill it. All right, I think that should be good. And of course the other part of this, not only do I wanna see, you know, how well is it gonna like hold up to someone as, you know, um, curious and um, innovative as my son. But how easy is it gonna be to wash as well? I think that's gonna be another really important thing and seeing if like the edges of the zipper get like a ton of gunk in them, that kind of thing. So I think is good and sealed. <laughs> Why was no one gonna tell me that I didn't have a lid on this and it could have gone, this could have gone really poorly for me. Whoops. Comes with a bunch of lids, which I should have put on it to begin with. Wow, good for me. Okay, so let me wash that for a second, hang on. Okay, lid on, nice and tight. Squish it from all angles, just like normal amounts. Okay, now really. Ooh. It did pop a seal, but I was squishing it pretty aggressively. But like, just in like normal pushing up the product, I don't think it would do anything, especially with this open. So I'm gonna go and give this to Connor and uh, I'll report back and how he finds it. All right, update on these food pouches. They are a 
big hit. Connor absolutely loves these. He is so pleased that he has figured out how to use it and Luke loves them as well. I've washed these by hand and also put them in the dishwasher and I haven't noticed any sort of issue with it. Like they're nice and like the, the material is nice and thick. The zipper is nice and structured. I can see why so many people love these. Um, I will say just in terms of um, allowing them to dry and keeping them open, I have been using the I don't know, the lid thing from the fruit and veggie cutter. Kind of like stand them up right, you know? I mean, I haven't had any issues with them so far, so yeah. Big thumbs up from me. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try out, these are purely fun. These are just fun things that I saw and I was like, ooh, this could be a Pinterest mom thing. They definitely have these. Probably have them neatly stored away in some magic drawer or something. Pinterest moms have like the most organized drawers. Anyway, it is these. <laughs> little cutter things. They're in these really cute little shit. Is this a mushroom? <gasps> could be like toad. Ooh, that could be fun. Anyway, they come in a multitude of different shapes, flowers, stars, hearts, that kind of thing. And it's a fun way to cut out any fruits, vegetables, stuff like that. And so I figured I would test out a fruit and a vegetable that I feel like most of us <laughs> would pack in our own lunches or in, you know, kids. actually, you know what? While I'm at it, I mean, if you want to do this for yourself, and just, you know, be your own Pinterest mom. Love this for you. Love this journey for all of us. Like, would I say no to having little, you know, fish-shaped cucumber slices? No, no I wouldn't. So I have some beautiful cucumbers and I thought the other one could be like apple. You know, that, that feels very, very school lunches. So let's give this a try. This is the only way to do this. Otherwise it's way too much work. I've seen people like slice it into little medallions and then cut each of them. No, this way I have lots, <laughs> lots of space for activities. And I'm also gonna be that person that really tries to get as much of the cucumber as possible. Also, I will eat all of the leftovers. I mean, that was evident. That's, that's what all moms do. That's what all people do. You eat the scraps. I'm gonna do a little fishy first. Ooh, nice and sharp. Oh, didn't even realize, but you can just do a whole bunch at once and then you can fill them all up and then push them out. Oh, well that's nice, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna be making so many people angry. There's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm cutting these. Almost, yes, got it, ha So I could get basically five in the thickness that I had cut for this particular cucumber. And then we just push them out. <laughs> Looks kind of, kind of terrifying, but like, I like it. Ooh, also important. Really enunciated important there. Anyway, it comes with this little thing as well to really get into the nitty gritty little grooves in case you get any like food stuck in them or anything. So I thought that was a nice thing as well, but it seems to be cutting through even the skin. And these are like, like thick skinned cucumbers. Like they have seen things, they have lived life. Let's see if this star will just cut right through that. Oh yeah, like not even, not even difficult at all. Oh, look, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I'm mad that I haven't bought these before. These are amazing. I like the bigger sort of like holding cap, if you will, for it as well. And these are like adorable, adorable. Let's try an apple, although I can't imagine it not working. Gosh, these are so cute and like, easy. This is not difficult. I wouldn't mind doing this. Not every day, don't get me wrong. I'm not that invested, but like, this is not difficult. Whoop, hit my limit. Get out, push them out. Done. So cute. I can really see my kids enjoying this and like, I don't know. I feel like it's like, you know, when macaroni and cheese just tastes better in the shapes. I feel like it's the same for veggies. Also, if you want, if you're doing like, let's say you had like cantaloupe and watermelon, you could cut out a whole bunch of fish in both and then use like the the cutout to put the other fruit in, you know, like the back and forth. That would be so cute. It's a lot of extra work, but like a good way to use the scrapos. Even the scraps are more delicious. All right, let's try it for the apple now. Oh, a bunny, look at the bunny, that's so cute. Oh, beautiful. It's cutting through the skin too, no problemo. Look at those. Okay, these are like 10 out of 10 for me. I love this. I will absolutely be doing these again. They were so easy. They look like they're really easy to clean, though I will let you know if there's like any issues or anything, but 
10 out of 10. Okay, now we're gonna be testing out a little gadget that is going to help you to make your own Uncrustables. Now I myself have never tried an Uncrustable, mostly because I'm allergic to nuts. And when I was thinking through like, how would I use this? What would I do with the scraps? Cause I think these are all really important things to think about. What I would do personally is that I would make the sandwiches for the older two and then Connor would just demolish the scraps. He's small, he, he doesn't care. So the one that I got came in a couple of different sizes. So you could do a variety of different ones and there's different things that you could do. It doesn't need to be just sandwiches, but that is what I wanted to test it for and just see how good is it and also test it on different types of bread. So I have just like regular white bread, but I also have like a grainy bread too. Um, Cause I'm curious if it is going to work for this. And I did read somewhere on a couple of these things that if you warm the bread first a little bit, it makes the whole process a lot easier. So we're gonna try that. Cause I don't think a, this is a sprouted wheat bread. I don't think this is gonna work super well for it, but I figured I'd try it anyway. Cause healthier. I also think these would be so cute at Christmas time making like little individual pies. Could you imagine? That's like the Pinterest dream. Let's give this a go. So I'm gonna try and make just like a, I don't know, just a regular sandwich with what my kids would normally ask for, which is like ham and cheese. Oh wait, before we do that, we need to heat up the bread. Cause if I can only do this with like a really soft white bread, I don't know. Although there are some like whole wheat versions that are very similar in texture to a white bread, but oftentimes they still aren't that good for you. I learned a lot working in uh, the CPG firm. The food hacks, the marketing lingo, I tell you. Anyway, we have a softer bread. <laughs> As you can see. Don't heat it up as much as I did. And then we're going to give it a little choppy chop. All right, lined it up and smoosh. Oh, you really gotta smoosh it down. Wiggle it, Let's see if it's cut through. Did it work? Ooh, it did not work. Seal. Like it's cut, but it's not together. I think I heated it too much, everyone. That was too much. Okay, here we go. Ta-da. So, I mean, it did technically, you know, cut it, but it doesn't look very um, uncrustable. It is an interesting shape, almost like, I don't know, a UFO or something. And that is a huge amount that it left behind. Like I was thinking maybe there was just like a little bit on the outside. Okay, like I could give some of that to Connor and he would enjoy that like broken up and just nosh on it. But that's a lot and that's a very small sandwich. All right, it's the next morning and I figured since I had those little cutout sandwich things, I would try something creative. Also, look, I made stars. So excited. So one thing I did note, because they have a smaller one, what I ended up doing is, this is just almond butter and jam on bread. And so what I did for the kids is they each picked a favorite jam and then I did one type of jam for one sandwich and one type of jam for another sandwich. And then I just took one of the inserts from one of the sandwiches and put it into the other. So this is raspberry jam on the outside and blueberry on the inside and then Luke has the opposite. And so like, that's a fun way of using it. Then you aren't wasting any like outside edges or anything and it's fun. The kids get to have like two different types of jam. It's a fun little nifty thing and they seem really excited about it. So anyway, thought I would share. Now I also said that I wanted to share with you some products that I do really love that I have used before and I stand by that are fantastic for lunches. There are a couple of them. So first I wanna share these lunch boxes. These are the Sistema ones. You can get these off Amazon. I think we got ours at Costco. They come with these cute little containers which are the perfect size for snacks that fit really nicely in here. They have a little like lunch sandwich shelf, I guess or a divider for one of these compartments and also the sandwich one. And I find I don't use that one as much, but I do use the compartment one a lot. And that way I can put one snack on the bottom, one on top, and they don't get mixed up or one gets soggy. They wash really easily. You get a lot of stuff in there. And I find like, it's just like the perfect size for any of the like lunch boxes that they have, the, the insulated ones. I use any of my little containers like this for inside and it's just like, these are, these are amazing. I love them. And then the other one that is super popular that I do also stand behind are these. These are the Mabel's labels. They're labels that you can put on literally everything. Like I have them on their water bottles, on their lunch boxes as well. And they stand up to everything. It's crazy. Whether I wash them by hand, throw them in the dishwasher, they last the entire year without any sort of like peeling up or anything. So like for example, this one for Julia's water bottle, this has been on for like two years now. It's crazy. It just, they last and last. They now, I think I've only had one ever peel. That was it. Super, super easy to use. You basically 
open up a little flap, you write down whatever you want on it, put it down, peel it, stick it. Like it's just like, it's a really simple process. You get a ton of them. I have a bunch of extras here as well um, for Luke when he goes to school. And uh, yeah, I just think among my favorite little like labels. Now, the next thing that I got to test, I have to admit, this is this is what I think of when I think of like really cute kids lunches. And they are these little like face stamps type thing. Basically, you can cut out pretty much anything, pancakes, bread, cheese, whatever you want, and they all fit together and you can do either the little pieces, you can just do a stamp onto your bread. You could use them for cookies. So you can do like the stamping side or you can cut all the way through and take those little pieces to like artfully arrange as like a little cute cat face. And it also comes with this little guy to help kind of move some of those smaller pieces out, which is crucial as we all know. So I just wanted to experiment with these and see if they actually work the way that they look. I really want this to work. More than anything else, this is just like, this is what I was the most excited about. So you see here, they have like a bunch of different options and ways that you can make different shapes and faces and things like that. And so we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what this looks like. Also, I feel like it'd be fun because uh, Julia is sort of in a like, I don't wanna eat sandwiches kind of a phase. She'd rather have everything kind of like laid out, you know, like a charcuterie board. I know, she's fancy. So depending on what you want, you can kind of like cut it out, I guess. So if I go like this and cut it, what's this gonna look like? Oh no. Oh, okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I don't want little, no, 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 that's not it, cheap. If you wanna do the little pieces, that works out well. You can just like pop them out like this. Oh my goodness, okay, it almost worked. Come on, I don't wanna give up on my <laughs> dream of making this a thing. Okay, like it almost worked, a little crumbly. Okay, let's like try something now. So one of the examples that they gave is to cut out just this with a slice of bread do the ham and then do the bread again with like this. So you can see the ham kind of like poking through and it's like a little face. So uh, let's try that. We'll do the little kiton. And again, we're gonna try it with the grainy bread. Microwave it a lot less this time. And then I'm supposed to just do the outline. It doesn't always cut all the way through. Gotta check it. Ugh. So it like rips a little at the end. That's irritating to my perfectionism. Okay, we're gonna pretend that looks fine. No one saw that. Okay, hiya. This time I'm gonna move this out of the way first. Haha, -ha. cute. Okay, <gasps> this is promising. Okay, and then this one, I'm supposed to cut it out with the keton face. First, get that out. Get to the use of the scraps in a minute. And then hiya. Okay. okay, I'm doing it the wrong way, but I'm too excited. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Wow, these moms are dedicated. <laughs> it's a cat. I feel like I'm doing like an art project. Look, mom, look what I made. He's a little kiton. I wonder, I assume it would be, but like if I just did a little slice of cheese here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm so proud. Oh, I just just realized he looks like he has like a like an eye patch. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, the pros of, you know, having grainy bread. There we go. He's, he's winking. <laughs> he's winking. This is the cutest thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I made. <laughs> My art project. I got 10 out of 10. A plus. Oh, it's a cat. It's a cat! Yeah. Look at them. Look at them. How Pinteresty am I? That looks good. Right? How hard was it to do? <laughs> <laughs> this is the only cat. <laughs> Sandwich. Don't look at all of my scraps. Okay. This is the only cat sandwich. I found this to be a, like a little bit cumbersome. Like this is cute. Like now that sure. I have it, I can do that. But like this, we're gonna ignore his little eye patch work on the side. So as dad, it is my duty to eat all the scraps. Yeah, I was gonna say like either I'm gonna eat them or Connor. Yeah, he'd get it on this. Right? Like th that's what I would do with the scraps. But I feel like in a lot, like here's another one. This is supposed to create like an Uncrustables type of situ. What? Uncrustables. You know what Uncrustables are? No. Well, they're a big thing. It's like a frozen peanut butter and jam sandwich. That That's looks... why I don't know about <laughs> Kind of looks like this. Tell me that doesn't taste better yeah, yeah. because it's yeah, in that form. That's much more fun. Like, I think that they would like this. Yeah. I will do this for them on their birthday. End of, end of list. Yeah. But you know what I will do more of? Okay, look at these, look at these. He's a bunny and a goldfish and a star. Oh, I said yeah. it's a... <laughs> 
I said it's a bunny. No further questions. Eat this cucumber and tell me it does not taste a thousand times better than any other cucumber you've ever eaten. It's like multivitamins when they're in Flintstone shape. <laughs> Only the orange ones, the others are disgusting. Pink was fine. Fun fact, I used to hide them in my closet so I wouldn't have to eat them. They're delicious and like so cool. easy. And I wasn't expecting to love those as much as I did, but I'm really happy I got them. Well, and the good thing about the scraps and the offcuts of this is you just throw them in the blender with the other green juice stuff. And yes. Then... I hadn't thought of that. That's a great idea. Yeah. I'm not minding the scraps, to be honest. That's the other thing, I guess, right? Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending a kid to school with just that as the sandwich. Like, Unless it's preschool. That's Pre true. Pre yeah, yeah, yeah. Preschool yeah, yeah. kids could get on this. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe if we, like, did these and then like rolled up the leftover like scraps of meat and cheese and made it like a, like a collar, like a bow tie. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> I'm gonna take some scraps take, and go. Take a little uh, star for the road. Oh. Oh, look at this one. This is so good. I like it as scraps. <laughs> it's the dad in me. <laughs> Someone's gotta eat it. Ooh, okay, and then the last thing I wanted to test out are the reusable bags for snacks and things like that. I have tried a silicone version before, but I found that the seal was really difficult, it was cumbersome, and it was really tricky to wash. And so now this year, I wanna try them again, and so I bought a bunch, these are BPA free. You have to hand wash them, that's another thing which I mean, that could just, that could, that could end it for me. I don't know. But I bought some in a bunch of different sizes just to see like, could these fit into my kids' lunches? Are they too big, too small? Do they stretch easily? Are they just gonna be super annoying to use? So let's, let's try them out. So I got these in a bunch of different sizes, but even the snack size is like really long. That's really long, right? Doesn't this even fit into their lunches? Uh, no, maybe if it didn't have this compartment across. However, I can see using these for housing, like a variety of like leftovers and things like that, pastas, sauces, stuff like that. I can see that being usable for this, but like not for kids' lunches. Maybe there are better sizes out there. I should have like measured properly, but I got too excited. But you can see like that's a full chunk of, a, of an apple slice. It's not very thick. The grapes and stuff, this is not gonna work well for. Yeah, see how it like bunches out like that? You wouldn't be able to fit very many in before it doesn't become sealable anymore. Honestly, I much prefer these types of containers. They are reusable, you can stick them in the dishwasher, super easy to clean, and you can put so many different types of snacks if you wanted to do like little like lunchable things and put like cheese in one and meats in another and crackers on the side and everything like that. I can fit a whole bunch of these in here and then if I run out of room for like, I don't know, granola bars or something, I can just put them on the side because there's enough room in her like insulated lunchbox that I have enough space for everything. So you know what, don't, don't even bother with these. I feel like these kind of reusable cups are a much better option and you can get a whole bunch of them that fit really nicely. Like the ones that I use that are outside of the Sistema ones are down here, we have a thousand. What brand are you? You're BPA free, okay, that's nice. Aha, Sherlock. <laughs> That's the first time I actually said that name out loud. Now I get it. <laughs> Sherlock. Oh, that's clever. That's, that's clever. Anyway, that's the brand that we use. Not only just these, because there's only one per container that it comes with. So um, I bought a ton of these and they have a variety of different sizes. So I'll put the smaller ones in the side and the bigger one in like a compartment here and do meats and cheeses and things like that for the kids for lunchtime. And I find that that's, a, that's gonna be a way better option. Yeah, just do this. <laughs> have you guys tried any of these products before or other ones that you think are like game changers for either school lunches or work lunches? Leave them down below and we can start like a big thread of people just sharing their best tips and tricks and we can just get everyone organized for school or work or, you know, just um, sitting on your couch, whatever you want. But thank you as always for supporting and watching this video and subscribing if you haven't already. New videos here every single Saturday. Check these out on the side in case maybe you've missed any and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Mwah.